Hello, my name is Bernadette Raboyo. Today I will be presenting a film review on Zoot Suit, an American film derived from the Broadway play with the same name. Both the play and the film were written and directed by Luis Valdez. The Zoot Suit originated in Harlem, New York in the late 1930s. The Duke of Windsor, Edward VIII, popularized the drape suit earlier on in London. As stated on History.com, during the 1930s, dance halls were popular venues for socializing, swing dancing, and easing economic stress of the Great Depression. Harlem dancers wore the zoot suit, not only because they liked the look of them, but the functionality as well. Loose-fitting clothing allowed the garments to accentuate their movements. Over time, the zoot suit was made popular by performers such as Cab Calloway, a singer and band leader who considered the zoot suit to be the ultimate in clothes. It was deemed the true American outfit. Several of the members who were casted in the Broadway production were also casted for the film. The play and the film also feature music from Daniel Valdez and Lalo Guerrero, who is known as the father of Chicano music. The fact that there is a major Chicano presence in the creation of Zoot Suit is very important to our representation in this film. Daniel Valdez's character, Henry Reina, and Edward James Olmos' character, El Pachuco, represent the young Chicano during this time. El Pachuco acts as Reina's consciousness, not allowing Reina to forget who he is and where he comes from. By using the themes Flor y Canto and Testimonio, Almost delivers a statement throughout the whole film to be wary of the white man, for they are forever trying to hold us down. The Zoot Suit riots began due to the Zoot Suit was considered to be worn as an act of defiance. The youth looked at the clothing as a way of expressing themselves, the Pachuco style, but authority figures disagreed. From parents to the law, you were immediately labeled as trouble and unlawful. Parents couldn't understand the desire to fit in with the Americans. In fact, they took it as an insult towards their traditional ways. As stated in Raíces de Sangre, Roots of Lineage, Sources of Life by Guadalupe Chua Thompson, Chicanos were grafted into an even more alien body, an already hybrid civilization. They have been referred to as strangers in their own land, as an invisible minority, as Spaniards, as Hispanics, as Latinos, as Mexicans, as Mexican Americans, but they are Chicanos with their roots of kinship, their ties of lineage, their sources of life, their raíces de sangre still lying to the south. Henry Reina's personal struggle is relatable to all Chicanos. We're too Latino for the Americans and too American for our homeland. Daniel Valdez's performance is a great usage of cinematic techniques, the demisification of film, altering of consciousness, and affect social change. Growing up, you didn't see much diversity in films or television, but you did tend to see the same faces playing the Latinos of the film. Lupe Antiveros, Edward James Olmos, and Tony Playa are a few that I can think of that I would recognize and would relate to because they look like someone related to me. I appreciate that Luis Valdez was able to cast Chicanos because as a Latina, I appreciate our stories being represented. Thank you for listening to my film review. Overall, I enjoyed Zoot Suit. The incorporation of Broadway elements, along with the cinema elements such as testimony, music, and camera angles, made it easy to connect to what the director was trying to portray. Hopefully, my film review gave you a different perspective of this film.